I have been talking about manipulation tactics. So today I'm going to talk about breadcrumbing and then I'm going to use a Reddit story as an example. Eight signs of breadcrumbing in a relationship. They offer sporadic messages. They give vague expressions of interest. They text or call you late at night. Most messages are about hooking up. Your gut tells you something is off. You start wondering what you did wrong. When you start to pull away, suddenly they up their game. They use passive aggression to manipulate you. So I read to you some of the signs of breadcrumbing, basically just stringing you along. Okay, this Reddit is titled Tips for Surviving Breadcrumbing. Basically, the short version is that I keep letting down my boundaries when it comes to my most recent ex. He dumped me last November and it was totally out of the blue and it sucked hard. It still sucks. I miss him a lot. Afterwards, he got into the habit of occasionally throwing me a line when I asked for space or to be no contact. A nice word here or there, but not consistently. I believe the term is breadcrumbing. I've been calling them love kernels and avoiding all suggestions up to catch up. I feel like there's obviously a pattern that's happening here and I'm allowing it to continue. He's shown me multiple times that he's inconsistent, distant, thoughtless. Even if he cares about me a little, his actions are showing me his real capacity. How in the heck do you guys get through this? I'm pining hard. I feel like he is too, which is why he keeps contacting me, but this needs to stop. He obviously doesn't have the capacity to show up for me in the way I want, but I'm struggling to detach and disengage. Need tips and hugs and love. Okay, my my short um my short advice, block block. Basically, that's it. Um and start to erect some boundaries eulogize the relationship and move on but let's get into a few of the comments and she did move on so but let's get into a few of the comments. i'm sorry that re relationship will not improve that feeling is addictive the tiny lines they throw it stimulates the brain really uniquely the next and then she responded i think i'm coming to that realization now that this is how it's going to be so that's um the person very DZ. why are you allowing him to keep contacting you you should have blocked him a while ago that's what I said. Block him, basically. Okay, another person said block him. You're holding on to feel the same. Been there sending you hugs. And then the OP says, thanks, blocked him this morning. This sucks. The only way to get through it is to block and then deal with the feelings later. Um, just to let you know, she said, I blocked him on all platforms this morning. I really appreciate everyone's sound advice on this post. So that's what that's what the consensus is. Block him, move on. But y'all jump in the comments. Tell me what you think.